The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is up, guys? Clickwood here, back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. Guys, it is Saturday morning, which means we have new Ultimate Legends in the game. And guys, we got a really beast-ass card. We have a Brian Dawkins Ultimate Legend. And yes, we did also get an offensive lineman, Will Shields. Very, very good cards, obviously. I mean, both of these ones are the best at their position in terms of overall and everything like that. Uh, but what I want to do today, guys, is take a look at these new cards. And I also want to kind of compare them to another card, I, I, specifically Brian Dawkins. I want to compare to another card because I think that there's kind of a misconception here in terms of how much better Brian Dawkins is than the rest of the field at the free safety position. So, uh, again, let's go in here and let's take a look at the new cards. Uh, first of all, by the way, guys there are um plenty of new packs in the game if you didn't see there are still combine cards in the game or uh, combine packs in the game um, you can also go in through here through the browse the store and take a look at uh the new packs which we've got the ultimate legend packs with marshawn lynch on the cover of course for if you're trying to pull any of those new ultimate legend players um, of course you can pull the ultimate legends out of any packs as far as i understand including pro packs so uh don't go too over the top with the ultimate legend packs but Let's go in here again, and let's take a look at this Brian Dawkins, because I did a little bit of a search on him. Um, let's see here. Let's go to buy it now price. And so the cheapest one up right now for the standard Ultimate Legend uh, is 950000 so almost a million coins right now. And go in and you take a look at these attributes on this card. And don't get me wrong. I mean, this is a really, really nice card. I'm not going to try and, like, hate on it and say it's not a really good card. Of course it is. Um, you know, again, we're looking at, like, 92 speed here, 93 acceleration. Those are both really, really good attributes. He's pretty much beastly across the board as far as, like, the, the base attributes go that you would look for in a safety. Um, he does also have the tip drill chemistry as well as the big hitter chemistry and also the field general chemistry so uh, a lot of uh, a lot of really good attributes especially i think that tip drill one i like because if he if somebody does throw the ball up and your guy goes over there and, and tips it up in the air with like your swat button or whatever and brian dawkins is anywhere in the area he's pretty much going to intercept it that's definitely a really good attribute that he that he has as well as like i said the big hitter uh does increase that tackling and the hit power i'm not so worried about the strength personally but uh you know that's that's just something you can look at now here's kind of the full attribute rundown guys if you're interested here um and you know like i said a very very good card overall some of the things that i think it kind of lacks just a little bit though these catching attributes now it's pure catching attribute is not bad uh, let's see here let's go up and find what it was i'm trying to remember off the top of my head i think it was like 76 or something like that yeah 76 so uh it's not bad but it's not anything spectacular now when you go down here and you take a look at the other catching attributes the things like spectacular catching catching traffic those are both quite low for what you would consider to be an elite high-end safety uh, and i'm going to show you another guy on the screen here in just a moment that has kind of similar attributes to this card but he's substantially cheaper and, and in my opinion if you're looking for a safety to go up and make catches uh, and, and get interceptions and things like that, this card might actually be even a little bit better, and it's not anywhere near as expensive. So we'll take a look at that in just a moment here. Uh, but again, Brian Dawkins overall really, really beastly. Now, if you do want to go with the Ultimate Legend Boss Edition of Brian Dawkins, that is a 99 overall versus a 98. And it is, it's can, can it contain the same chemistries, but it does have a little bit of boosted attributes on it. Um, so you take a look at like the fact that it's got 94 speed and 95 acceleration, a little bit better zone coverage. It's kind of pretty much like a plus one across the board as far as attributes go, maybe plus two in a couple of different things. In my opinion, not really worth it to make that upgrade, uh, considering like what, it's almost three times as expensive, about two and a half times as expensive. That's just not, in my opinion, worth it. So uh, I would not go that direction personally. Of course, these are going to kind of change a little bit in price here over the next couple of days and weeks, of course, as more items come out. But for right now, I would really not recommend spending the $2.55 million unless you're just super, super stacked and you just have a ton of coins to spend. Then go for it. You know, do your thing. But... For right now, if you want Brian Dawkins, I would definitely go with the base Ultimate Legend. I think it's just kind of a little bit better in price. Now, 
the card that I wanted to take a look at here, guys, um, is kind of similar, like I said, in most of these attributes to Brian Dawkins, and that is the team of the year, Eric Berry. Now, Eric Berry is, uh, if you take a look at his price, he's definitely a, a little bit cheaper. Um, I accidentally put newest there. Sorry about that. Um, if you take a look at his buy now price, though, 389000 I've actually seen him going for closer to 350000 So uh, right now, his price is a little bit higher. I think maybe somebody just bought him out recently or something like that. But uh, like I said, this is quite a bit cheaper. It's less than half the price. It, it, it's almost going to be a third of the price. Uh, when you take a look at the Brian Dawkins being about 900,000 and this one being about 350, like I said, thousand at, at most of the time when I've looked at him. So uh, very, very nice card though overall. If you take a look at the Eric Berry, I mean, the attributes are quite similar to the Brian Dawkins. I mean, I'll just run them down real quick for you guys. Um, I have the comparison on Mudhead up on my screen. So I'll just give you guys a quick rundown as far as their attributes go. From If you compare the Eric Berry, the 95 here to the 98 Dawkins, they're the exact same speed. Brian Dawkins does have one higher in acceleration. He's three higher in awareness, so that's you know pretty similar. Eric Berry's one higher in catching. Now, the strength attribute, like I said, I'm not somebody that looks at that is even mattering whatsoever. There is a five difference between Dawkins and Eric Berry. But again, to me, I just don't really care about that attribute. It's not really something that I look at. Now, I'm, when I compare these cards, I'm, I'm also talking about when they have their chemistries, the base card chemistry is activated. So, like, for example, um, Eric Berry's actually got 66 strength as opposed to 65 strength because his chemistry is automatically activated. Um, but, you know, little things like that. Now... Uh, obviously, Eric Berry is going to be substantially better when he has the ball in his hand than Brian Dawkins. So he's got things like trucking and he's got, um, you know, those kind of weird little attributes that we don't really care that much about. Like, for example, his trucking is 30, 39 higher than Dawkins. Like 64 is still not something where you're going to want to truck guys with Eric Berry or anything like that. But he does have some better elusiveness. The 86 elusiveness is going to allow you to make some better cuts and things like that, which I personally think is pretty important. Um, you know, I don't know. Some people like that attribute. Some people don't really care that much. But uh, to me, it's something that I kind of look for when I'm looking for a guy, if he's going to be like my kick returner or punt returner or anything like that. Uh, so that's one thing that Eric Berry does have on him. Now, like I said, there are other things in here as well that I really look at. The block shedding is one thing that uh, Brian Dawkins does have him in by a little bit. He's got him by three in block shedding. And he also has him in tackling and hit power by a pretty decent amount. His hit power is going to be six higher or five higher, excuse me, uh, as, as their kind of base. And then he's also going to be two higher in tackling. So, you know, those two things are pretty important. Um, I wouldn't say they're the most important things, but, you know, it is a little bit of a difference. The big difference here, though, to me between these two cards is when I was talking about those catching attributes that um, uh, that Dawkins kind of lacks behind in the spectacular catch and the catch in traffic. Eric Berry is very, very good in both of those attributes. In fact, he's 12 higher in both catching traffic and spectacular catch than Brian Dawkins. I mean, that's a pretty substantial upgrade, in my opinion, and it's worth kind of making the investment in, in my personal opinion. Like, if if you were comparing these two cards like straight up, I mean, I guess I would probably take Dawkins just because he's got the higher hit power and he's a little bit, uh, I mean, he's just a little bit quicker, I guess. And, you know, some of these other things like the awareness and stuff like that, I mean, it does matter. But, I, I mean, if you're comparing them based on price, 350000 to 380000 or so for Eric Berry versus 950000 for Brian Dawkins. And yes, again, Brian Dawkins is going to go down a little bit over the week in terms of price, but I always wait like an hour or two before I take a look at the prices. So these are kind of already dropped a little bit from what they were when the cards first came out. So, you know, that's just something to keep in mind, guys. In my opinion, it is definitely not worth it to go in that direction. Um, at the moment, I would certainly, considering price, I would certainly go with the Eric Berry right now. And I want to hear from you guys. What do you think between the two cards? Go on and compare them and let me know what you think. And then the other card here, guys, that we do have is the Will Shields. Now, it doesn't look like any of the limited edition ones are up at the moment, unfortunately. So we'll just have to take a look at the 97 overall version. This is, oh, never mind. There they are. Okay, so we do have a Will Shields up right now for a million coins. Um, 98 overall Will Shields versus the 97 overall Will Shields here. So, again, pretty similar overall. You're going to get a couple plus ones here or there. 
double the price for that in my opinion i wouldn't go that direction i would get myself a few other players at more important positions i mean interior offensive line in madden yeah they made an upgrade which you know made the offensive line maybe matter a little bit more but to me it still doesn't matter enough where i would invest that many coins in that position i would go with like the positional hero type players or even like the team of the year type players as opposed to the ultimate legends right now at least in ultimate team so you know that's just my personal opinion guys I want to hear from you guys, though. What do you think about these Ultimate Legends today? Do you think, obviously, is Will Shields at, a, you know, half a million coins worth it to get as opposed to, you know, like the other cards that you could get at the same position for substantially less coins? And also, more importantly, what do you think about the comparison between Eric Berry and Brian Dawkins? What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comment section below, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you learned a little bit on it. And hopefully, you won't spend the extra 600,000 coins on Brian Dawkins. I just don't think it's worth it. So, thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll talk to you guys again soon.